What up Facebook? Chance it's a Shadow Blade here and I am back. I know it's been a minute since I put out some music, but I do have some news for all of you guys out there right now who enjoy my stuff. What up Ashley? What up Sam? But I am back and I have my official music site set up for like my store stuff. So the official Shadow Glade Dizzy Jam store is now officially open for business. With each purchase that you guys make of each item, whether it be like, you know, a hoodie for 40 bucks or whatever. Like, not only will you guys be getting that item, but you guys will be getting the full deluxe special edition of my full album, Urban Warfare, free for download and listening to. So, not only are you paying for an item, you are also paying to be able to listen to the full deluxe edition of Urban Warfare free of charge with I will be also adding in custom artwork later on down the road but you know if you guys want to chill out relax you know drink a cup of coffee or something in the morning you can rock out and listen to some music while you're at it or if you know you're cold and you want to listen to some dope ass dub stuff you know you can throw on the hoodie and chill what up, Joey? What's up, man? Guys, if you guys don't know Joey, he is a really good childhood friend of mine that I pretty much grew up with over the years. So shout out to you, Joey. What's up, bro? But like I said, guys, I am back full time, full swing. You know, all of that good shit. Um, the reason why I wound up dropping what I was doing for so long is mostly because of the fact of I was getting misled by a lot of people. You know, I was getting, you know, just basically those run around of, you know, they wanted to turn me into something that I wasn't. And they're like, oh, you know, you need to drop this name or you need to do this and that to you know make your name out there and some of what they said is true you know like image wise I did kind of need an update which you guys don't know I did you know ow sorry guys like I don't know if you guys can tell or not but you know I did you know chop my hair off for that but other than that you know I'm letting this grow back of course obviously but I had people telling me you need to do this, this, and this, and this to do that to be successful. And I found out over time they were wrong. Like they were dead wrong in what they were telling me. Um, yes, I found out that looks do matter to a certain extent, you know, appearance wise. Not like, you know, facial structure or anything like that, but appearance wise. Like, you know, this, you know, having my hair looking right and everything like that part does matter but everything else that's all me but I am back full swing um I will be working on a couple new albums one of them being a full rap type album and then the other one being a dubstep album and I might might put out a melodic scream album I don't know I might put out a heavy metal album. I have not done that before. So I may or may not do that. I don't know. But the official Dizzy Jam Shadow Blade shop is open. As a matter of fact, I will read off to you guys everything we do have as of right now. And as far as clothing wise go, we do have everything from small to extra large. So, let me read that off to you guys right quick. Give me just a second, y'all.
Down here, I gotta scroll up here and click the link. But I gotta admit, guys, it does feel good to be back and doing my thing. Um, I am gonna be trying to sell some artwork as well. I don't know how that's gonna go about, but I'm back to doing that as well. So if you guys have any ideas on how I can sell my artwork, actually, I may just create another shop strictly for the artwork. I don't know, I might do that. But here we have a coffee cup for 10 bucks, hoodie for 40, uh, women's shirt for 15, male shirt for 15, and hats for 15. So if you guys want to go on there, you know, buy the merch, you know, show some love, help, you know, show some support for my music and what I do, you know, that would help me out greatly. And what I plan to do with that money, you know, is to not only open up my own online store for, you know, my artwork and all that good stuff, but I do plan on using it for, you know, my music to put out some good albums through, like, you know, just different sites like Spotify, you know, Amazon Music, um, definitely iTunes, I definitely do plan on throwing my stuff up on iTunes, but in order for that to happen, guys, I need your help, I can't do this by myself, I need your help, so if you guys are willing to buy my stuff, that's awesome, or if you know somebody that's willing to buy my stuff, share it to them, let them know, hey, you know, I know this great artist, he's got some good stuff, you know, check him out. But like I said, guys, with Dizzy Jam, you're not only buying a product, you're also buying my music. You're showing me support. You're showing me, hey, you know, I do really appreciate what you're doing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do appreciate all my listeners and all my fans in general. I really do. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Y'all are the best. Y'all fucking rock. But, you know, I can't keep doing this shit for free forever. If you guys really want to see me make it, you know, and make this stuff happen for myself and to be a successful independent artist, show me that. Show me that you guys, you know, want this to happen. Because, you know, if I could, I would do the same thing for any of you guys. Like, if any of you were doing music... You know, I would show my support and be like, hey, you know, I'll definitely buy your stuff. Or if I couldn't buy it at the time, I would be straight up honest with you and be like, look, I can't buy it at this time. But I will share it for you. I will spread word about it. And first chance I get, I will buy this stuff. I would do that for any of you guys. But... And speaking on that topic alone, there's a very serious subject that I want to get. This thing keeps going out, so hold on. We good? All right, yeah, we good. I do apologize for that, guys. It keeps connecting and disconnecting every so often. I do apologize for that, for any interruptions. But there is a subject matter I do feel that needs to be brought to your guys' attention. Matthew knows about this subject. Some of you might not. But. The fact of the matter is. I can't keep doing. My artwork and my music for free forever. And that's something that people want. They want me to give it to them for free. They don't want me to be successful. They just want me to do like. Oh hey I know you. Here. Like. You know, like, it doesn't work like that. They think that just because they know me, they're going to get stuff for free. Certain people, like, you know, Matthew, who does spread word about my stuff all the time. So, shout out to you, Matt. Like, everybody that, you know, does share and promote my stuff, like, on a constant basis, they're the ones that deserve the free stuff. They're the ones that's busting their butts every day to promote my stuff, to help me out. They don't have to, but they do. They go out of their way every day to, you know, say, hey, you know, check out this awesome artist or check out this awesome music that a friend of mine does. 
Like, they don't have to do that, but they do it. And those people that go out of their way to do stuff like that, they're the ones that deserve the free stuff. Not everybody else that's just not wanting to pay for it. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm done doing free shit. You know, like, if you guys want my stuff, you know, go to my shop. Buy my stuff. Simple as that. And honestly, there's one thing that I'm tired of seeing. Is that people that do have the money, they would rather, you know, like, sit there and lie and say, oh, I don't have the money right now. But yet, those same people that say that crap, every time, every time they say that, what do I see them doing next day? I see them with something else they just bought that same night. When they sat right there and told me to my face that they don't have the money. Which I'm honestly getting tired of the fucking lies. I really am. It's either that or like, you know, oh, this is too expensive, you know, make it cheaper and da 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 da. I'm sorry, but I gotta make money. You know, I've got to make money doing what I love somewhere along the lines. I can't just keep doing this shit forever, y'all. I mean, the music videos and shit like that, you know, I will continue to do that. Yes, I will continue to do music videos, which I might be doing a music video in the next upcoming weeks. I don't know. I have to think on that because of the way my system is right now. I currently don't have any headphones for recording to make everything sound good, so I kind of have to, you know, do other stuff for a while. But I am bringing back Urban Warfare for you guys for free download for you guys to listen to. And if you know anybody that, you know, is huge into dubstep or would like, you know, a little bit of metal mixed with dubstep or whatever, you know. Share the album to him, you know, tell him, hey, I know this dude, he's got great merch, he's got great music, here's all his links, check his stuff out. So, you know, there is that. But like I said, guys, I am going to try to open up a separate online store for my artwork specifically. So, there is that. Also, if you go to Outcast Records... You know, I do have some free stuff on there, like, you know, wallpapers and whatnot. I currently have wallpapers for both Android and iOS devices as far as dimensions go. So if you have an iOS device like an iPhone, or if you have something like a tablet or an Android device, you guys can simply go to my page, you know, go to my stuff and it'll be right in there you guys can download the stuff right there um so there is that guys um give me one minute i'm gonna let somebody know that i'm live i'll be right back And also on a side note, I did find out something for you guys. For those of you that are into Assassin's Creed, I did find out some information that I am not allowed to leak out. The only thing I can tell you guys is that there is a new Assassin's Creed and the trailer will be coming out soon. I cannot say anymore. I do apologize for that. But, you know, it's at the request of one of the guys who actually does help make the games. You know, they don't want any information like that, which I can understand. I totally understand that because, like, you guys know me with a lot of my stuff. I'm the same way. You know, like, with my music, especially my music. Like, you guys know that when it comes to, like, a music video or an album that I do... I don't give away too much info. Alright, definitely, man. 
And hey, Joey, thanks for stopping by, dude, for sure. And, but like I said, guys, if you guys don't know Joey, he's actually a very good childhood friend of mine. Um, actually, not only mine, but of my friend Marcus as well. Like, you know, like, we all grew up together. We all went to school together as kids, you know. So we're pretty much, like, family. We're like brothers. And oddly enough, my best friend Marcus, who I was just talking about, you know, he actually got together with our friend Rachel, who we all went to school with. So, like, you know, it's pretty cool to see, you know, two of my best friends actually being together. That's actually real cool. And they are working on, they are looking to get married soon. So that's pretty cool. So shout out to Marcus and Rachel, man. You guys are awesome. But shout out to whoever's watching this right now. Like I know there's like one person watching right now. So whoever you are, man, shout out to you. But I do have some really cool songs coming up for you guys. Um, I'm not going to be able to play them right now because I don't want to spoil the surprise. All I can say is that there are going to be some pretty cool features on this album. The only one I will say that I am going to feature on the album, which you guys might be surprised about. Which, you know, like, I talked to the guys, you know, who are up there, and believe it or not, I actually got the chance to, you know, speak with one of the major guys who's actually done work with guys like Skrillex. And Skrillex is, you know, he heard about what I'm doing, and he actually is being kind enough and actually awesome enough to let me use some of his drum tracking and some of his sound effects in my own work in my album that I'm working on right now for you guys. So major shout out to Skrillex, um, major shout out to pretty much all the dubstep artists that, you know, have supported me over the years. You know, definite shout out to Scourge, man. He's an awesome dude. I love working with Scourge. He's got some great shit. Um, you know, I've just worked with, you know, many dubstep artists over the years, and they're all, you know, really cool. All right, shout out to you, Sam. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, over the years, you know, I've had the, you know, just this awesome pleasure to be able to work with some people that, you know, not only I grew up listening to, but, you know, people that I draw inspiration from. Like, if you guys know me, you guys do know that, you know, I do throw a lot of violin into my work. And, you know, I've actually recently gotten the opportunity to work with the Violin Sisters from YouTube. Like, they're really great guys. You know, I love their work. Um, they were awesome enough to actually feature some of their violin work in it as well. So, major shout out to the Violin Twins. You guys are amazing. Like, if you guys heard their work, like, you guys would be impressed. Like, they don't normally do dubstep, but when they heard my sound, they were like, dude, this is good. Like, this is really, you know, interesting. But what gets me is that, you know, even though I am working with some of these big names from time to time, you know, just the fact that, you know, people don't take note of that. I mean, I'm friends with some of the biggest names in the business right now. More notably, one of them being one of my best friends from high school, Matt, a.k.a. PFV. You know, I'm really good friends with his mom and him. You know, both amazing guys. So shout out to you, Matt. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. 
I hope to see your next show here in Akron. I'm not sure if I can make it, but I'm definitely going to try, man. For sure. So keep doing what you're doing, bro. Because you know you got my support 100%, dog. And also, shout out to my buddy John, a.k.a. A Little Scam. The dude's got amazing work, so shout out to you, brother. I also checked out your live stream, John, so you're good, man. I'm always down for checking out your live stream shows. Like, that is a straight-up fact. I'm always watching your stuff, whether I show it or not. I'm always checking your stuff out. Um, shout out to Cryptic Wisdom. Also known as David Gonzalez on Facebook. So shout out to you, Cryptic Man. I can't wait for your next album, dude. I'm amped up for that. I am super amped up for that. Um, shout out to Vinny, a.k.a. Vinny Sharma. From his old band, Sharmera. I'm definitely looking forward to stuff from you, Vinny. For sure. I'm looking forward to that 100%, man. Um, shout out to Spence. Um, Daniel and his band Spence. Um, if you guys don't know, they do have some new music out. So, you know, like, you know, major shout out to you guys. I love the new music, man, for sure. I love the new music and what you guys are producing. You know, whether I show it or not, I'm always, you know, like, hold on, throw it there, guys. As you guys see, I got a little bit of a scratch right there. I kind of nipped myself earlier. I was checking to see something right quick, but. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry that you guys had to see that, but. You know, that's the thing about being in the music business. You know, you get to meet new people. You get to meet some of these big names. And honestly, some of the people I've worked with. Over the last few years and the last few months, I honestly never thought I would get the chance to, you know, work with. Let alone huge names that are connected to guys like Skrillex and stuff like that. I never in my wildest dreams thought that stuff like that would happen. But, you know, it just goes to show you that when you put out, when you step outside your comfort zone and you put stuff out there like that. You know, people do notice. People do take note of that. Hold on, one minute. You know, like, the one thing you guys don't get is that, like, and one thing a lot of people don't understand is that just because I don't show everything, you know, like, as is, you know, they think, oh, this person is doing this, this, and this, and da-da-da-da-da. Like, they don't think that I take time off. When that's not true, I do take time off, people. You know, I do take vacations. I do hang out with friends and family. So, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, I also do, you know, YouTube gaming stuff. Um, my art channel as well. Along with my music channel, obviously. <laughs> but, you know... The one thing people see is they don't see behind the scenes. All they see is a finished product. They don't see everything that goes on behind the scenes. They don't see the hard work, the, the blood, and the sweat, and the tears that I put into this stuff. And when I say blood, I do mean blood because I have busted my hand open a couple of times, you know, doing stuff so much that I just I actually busted my hand open a couple of times. So, you know, when I do say blood, sweat, and tears, I mean blood, sweat, and tears. Because there have been nights where it's been super hot. And I wasn't giving a shit. I was sitting there recording. And there were times where, you know, there were certain songs where I did break down halfway through recording. Because that song meant so much. More notably, the song that I recorded for my brother Zach the day I lost you. 
Like, that song was actually one of the hardest I've ever had to record. So, you know, I did break down a time or two during it, but, you know, I got through it and it turned out to be a good song. Oh, I know. But as I said, guys, I will be leaving the link to, you know, Outcast Records, the official website in the description so you guys can go on there and check the stuff out. Um, I also will be leaving the link to my Dizzy Jam for you guys to, you know, buy the merch if you want to buy it. Or if not, please, I'm asking you guys to do this just as one thing for me. If you guys truly cannot buy the merchandise for whatever reason, you know, at least spread the word around. And when you do, tag me in it. That's one thing I hate that people do is when they share my stuff and don't tag me in it. It's like, really? Like, you're sharing my stuff, but you're not tagging me. Like, what the hell? And what I want you guys to do is whenever you do, you know, tag me in it, I want you guys to put hashtag... Shadow B L A Y D E fifty three or Shadow Blade like the same way like the same way as before but without the fifty three and also tag my name in it as well. That way whenever you know it gets shared, you know, it comes up under my name. Whether it be, you know, my music page or my personal Facebook or what have you. So, you know, like, you know, like I said, guys, like, stuff's not easy. I can't be doing shit for free no more. I can't do it. You know, there comes a point where, you know, enough is enough, and I'm tired of being screwed over. You know, I need to get started to where I can get paid. I need to get paid for my work, guys. I can't do this for free anymore, and I hope you guys understand that. I'm sorry, but from here on out, unless you guys show me that, you know, you're promoting my stuff and showing some kind of interest and initiative, you know, I'm sorry, but you're not getting any more free stuff out of me. I can't do it. As I said, there's a very select certain few I will give free stuff out to, but that's because they show initiative. They go out of their way to show me love. They go out of their way to promote my stuff. So I'm sorry guys, but I'm done. <laughs>